Over the past few weeks, there have been a lot of discussions online about SSDs supposedly disappearing after the latest Windows 11 update from August. Some people are absolutely convinced the update itself is the cause, but that's not actually the case. I've seen plenty of posts, even accusations that I've been paid by Microsoft to say this, which of course is completely false. On this channel, I always try to provide honest information. What makes this situation confusing is that several things can happen at the same time. You install the update, your SSD stops working, you remove the update and it looks like the update was guilty. Naturally, people jump on blaming Microsoft and considering Microsoft's track record, I understand the lack of trust. But if you look at the details, this wasn't a Windows problem. In fact, The Verge published a really good article explaining it. The real issue was with certain SSD controllers running early or unfinished firmware. For example, even the popular tech YouTuber Jay's Two Cents originally blamed the update, but later admitted that once he flashed the proper firmware and updated the BIOS, the problem completely disappeared. So no, Windows Update didn't break your SSD. It never did. What actually happened is that some users were running hardware with test firmware, and the update triggered issues that were already there waiting to happen. It could have happened on Linux. It could have happened on Mac OS. This was not unique to Windows. Two, if you bought a pre-built PC from a major manufacturer, chances are you never saw this issue because those systems ship with finalized firmware. The majority of people affected were either building their own systems or using drives with problematic controllers. I've also seen a lot of comments from people saying, I've had these problems for months. That alone shows it's not the update, it's their hardware or firmware setup. So please don't buy into the hype. Keep your firmware up to date, keep your BIOS updated and you'll be fine. And yes, everyone is welcome to share their thoughts in the comments. I never block opinions unless it's a direct personal attack. At the end of the day, the lesson here is don't always jump to conclusions. Don't always believe the hype. Look at the facts, test things properly, and then make up your own mind. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.